What's going on YouTube? Remix Serial here, back with another video. Um, today is going to be a long one. It's going to be a very long video. As you can tell by the title, um, I'm going to be reviewing the ZW Nav um, Tesla style screen for the Ford Mustang. I have a 2016 V6 Ford Mustang right here and a 2014 C7 Corvette right here. But the focus of today's video is on this Mustang and more particularly the ZW Nav uh, Tesla screen. This is the Tesla screen that is advertised to have wireless uh, Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, uh, wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto. Um, there are no reviews of this radio anywhere on the internet. Um, there's a ton of them. I mean, I think Phoenix Automotive makes some. Um, Linkswell makes a few units. And when I bought this unit, it had like very little reviews, some bad, a lot of them are bad actually. And I decided to take the chance with it, install it, well, get it installed professionally. And then I've been um, I've been using it for the past few days just to get a good feel of everything. And I wanted to do a full review, how CarPlay works and everything because I couldn't find any of this information online. So with that being said, let's hop, let's hop right into it. Uh, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna roll the intro real quick, and then we're, the next time I see you, I'll be in the car. So, here we go. Give me the green light like John Legend. I rolled in the sex. I'm a force to be reckoned with, like Ralph from wrecking shit. One day I'ma be on the jet with this. Where's Keisha? Cause I'm heaven sent. I got power like a 50 cent. I'm more certified than a president. Man, I'm telling you, I'm big step and big flex. Goddamn, I'm feeling like Hercules. Niggas aren't saying I'm not from Earth. That nigga must be from Mercury. I'm the man with that plan. Next year my fears gonna be on on demand. My shit stay crack as contraband. Only fans gon' understand. Get a helping hand. I'm the main man, Batman. And you niggas robbing. Hey, they like. Like how is he winning the race at that pace when he's only jogging? Hey, I used to flex in the charger, now I'm making a cut like a barber. Hey, my dreams get close, not far. They ain't trying to give me advice. All right, so we're back in the car, and as you can see, I have the radio front and center. Let me turn these lights on real quick. One, two. I have the Tesla unit, uh, the screen right here, and the car is off. I won't be turning the car fully on because I'm in the garage. I'm not trying to kill myself, but I've got the screen right here. And um, if you don't know, this is the ZW Nav unit. And if if you use anything to, if you want to like correlate it to the one that you're looking to buy, these are the buttons right here, right here. Because I know they make a ton of these things, but this is the PX6 unit with Android 9.0. And I believe no matter which brand you decide to go with, um, the PX6 unit with Android 9.0 does have the wireless CarPlay features and all that stuff. So a lot of these units are the same, but this specific unit is the ZW Nav 9.0 unit. I'll leave a link to that in the description. This video will be a little bit long. I want it to be very descriptive and go into all the other features that some other some other people either didn't get into or some of the features that people just haven't really spoken about. Um, this video is definitely for you guys if you want to see some of that stuff live on the screen before you make your decision to buy it because this screen is around $800 does set you back quite a bit um but as you can see uh this is way better than the um than the super small pathetic um i think it's like a four inch screen that these mustangs came with it's, it's so pathetic so i'm gonna go through the pros the cons and my overall thoughts about it so first we're gonna start with the cons okay so uh the first con that i have for this is that like the reviews say on Amazon, uh, this unit does not come with any instructions. They give you a small piece of paper. I, I wish I had it with me, but they give you a very small piece of paper that has instructions on how to take off the bezel. And then that's it. It's like, it's so bare minimal. It's honestly pathetic. There are like tons of cables and wires that you need to hook up. So to get this installed... I highly recommend that you reach out to a professional shop or if you know a friend that knows what they're doing, you have them install this radio. I don't think this is really a good job to be doing by yourself in the garage unless you're a professional. Um, because of the lack, uh, excuse me, because of the lack of instructions, I believe that is also a direct um, effect on the reviews for this radio. Um, there are a lot of reviews regarding defective units, um, loss of sound, and all sorts of problems. And I think that's because there are no instructions to tell you what to connect, what not to connect. So 
that's definitely a huge con and uh, can definitely set you back if you don't have a shop that can install this for you. Okay, uh, my second con is that um, even when you have this unit professionally installed, and this goes for all Android units, this goes for Phoenix Automotive, uh, Linkswell, um, in my case, uh, ZW Nav, I believe ZW Nav makes this Tesla screen one. They make a smaller OEM sized um, eight inch screen um, that also has wireless Android Android Auto and CarPlay that's, that has Android 10 on it, I believe. It doesn't matter with any of these that you go with. Um, a lot of these can show up defective. Um, I've seen some show up with uh, no screen on or the sound doesn't work. I've seen some of them where they'll work for the year and then they go out later. Um, the support is abysmal and almost non-existent. Um, your best way to get support for these are through other users that have these infotainment systems. Um, I found out a lot of the issues that I was having. I found the resolution on a Facebook page that was from a post that was made like a year ago. In my case, I had no sound. I had very low sound. And um, I'm probably going to see if I can find a picture of the the fix for it. It's a very simple fix. And um, that's how I figured out my sound, my sound issue. So the support and the defective units are rampant with these. Um, so you do take a bit of a risk. But I believe if you buy one of these, I would buy one of these through Amazon. That way you can return it if you do need to. But that's a, a huge con. You you can't, that's like 800 bucks. You install it professionally, you pay for labor, and then the damn thing doesn't work. So um, that's a huge con. But you do have the Facebook groups and people ask the same questions over and over. And you do have some people that know what they're doing in those Facebook groups. So I'll leave a link to the Facebook group that I'm in as well in the description. Um, but yeah, that's an, another con is there's no support. And a lot of these units do arrive defective or they do break within a year. Okay, so the third con is actually the the lack of buttons. So I'm actually going to turn the unit on. And the reason I haven't turned it on thus far is because I'm in the garage. And uh, uh, well, there's two cons, actually. <laughs> that brings up another one is that if you sit in your car for about an hour or two with the radio on, this will drain your battery. Um, I first, when I first got the radio, I I sat in my garage. I was playing around with it, having fun. And next thing you know, my bat, my bat, my car battery died within an hour and a half. So um, these will drain your battery. I haven't had any issues with it sitting overnight and then starting the car. I, I can do that. But if you put the car in the run position, um, it if you sit in here long enough, it will kill your battery. So <laughs> um, uh, shut up real quick. But yeah, let me turn the let me turn it on. So that's the first fault is that the battery life is you know it's a big screen you know whatever, but. The, my initial con is that there is a lack of buttons over here. Now, the cool thing is that, you know, it's a full screen. It's really nice. It feels great. But as you can see, Android, but there's a lack of buttons. So everything is is integ integrated into the screen. So that's your climate control. That is your backup camera. Um, that's all of your settings. That's outside of the steering wheel um, preference for comfort, traction control start stop button ac and your mode you know what that does i mean hit the button but but yeah there's a lack of buttons as you can see for the mustang all the way down here this is where you control your um this is where you control all of your um, ac controls so there is a lack of buttons if you're not it takes a little bit of getting used to um it does take a little bit of you getting used to but that is a con for me the lack of buttons okay so the next con is uh, the navigation. Now, this unit comes standard with uh, Google Maps, which is awesome. Everyone loves Google Maps. Google Maps rocks, you know, whatever. But this unit doesn't come with built-in broadband. It does come with a GPS. Um, it does come with like a GPS antenna. But Google, for me at least, this is just my experience. For Google Maps, uh, it doesn't work unless you have an internet connection. So. Uh, you need to have a tethered hotspot or someone needs to be sharing their internet in the car, maybe through a, um, a hotspot you got through your mobile carrier or a hotspot on your phone. It won't work with the built-in navigation, which is kind of a letdown, kind of, you know, like, why would you even want to use it? Like, how would you even use it? So that that is a con. The navigation doesn't have, um, doesn't work natively. You have to connect a, uh, you need to get an internet source, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely a con. Okay, so the very last con that I can think of at the moment, I spent like a like an hour 
thinking up this list. But as you can see, uh, I have wireless Apple CarPlay. I'm using my exact phone, the phone that is synced to, I'm actually using this phone to shoot the video. And as you can see, no wires, nothing like that. The only wire I have is right here and it's not plugged up, right? So it has wireless Android app and Apple, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Cool, awesome, great. Now, the this unit does come with a Wi-Fi antenna so you can connect it to a Wi-Fi source. The negative is that when you're using wireless Apple CarPlay, it disables the Wi-Fi antenna. So if you're using it for, um, if you're using the unit to, I don't know, download applications or using it for YouTube or Netflix or something like that, and you want to use CarPlay for phone calls or a podcast or whatever, you have to choose one or the other. This unit is supposed to have a wired CarPlay option, which I have used it like once and it, it never worked again. I don't know why. Um, this unit does come with two USB jacks. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right above that one. It comes with two USB jacks. And another con is that those USB jacks do not charge your phone that quickly. It takes a long time for my phone to, to hold a charge. Let me refocus the camera here. But yeah, it disables the wireless hotspot. It, it uses that, that wireless connection to connect to your phone. And then you don't have any internet for the Android tablet if you were using it. Um, kind of a letdown, kind of a bummer. You can't have both. In my opinion, I want to use wired CarPlay and then have the wireless signal straight to my hotspot that I'm going to talk about in my pros section, which is great. I, I know I have the cons first, but this i have a lot of uh, pros for you guys in a minute but yeah that's the last one. Oh, also due to the wireless carplay or when you're in wireless carplay the audio has a small delay if you hit the pause button for your music um it takes like a second or a second and a half for the music to actually pause on the radio um and that's kind of a bummer um because my phone is jailbroken and as you can see i have a ton of apps here i have like youtube in here and everything granted this tablet can have youtube on it but if i were to play a video the sound would come through delayed so that is something to, to worry about and i think it even moves through on phone calls as well um so you're talking to someone and the conversation is kind of awkward because you're getting the audio late and you're talking to them and they may be getting it late there's some sort of latency there i don't know how, how it exactly works but i have had a few phone calls through this carplay system um it hasn't gone uh, too bad, but I think that that could be a potential issue. Um, but as you can see, the, the screen looks great. I mean, this is huge, right? I mean, look how big this is. It looks like an iPad, bigger than an iPad. So, um, but yeah, that is the last con for, um, that is the last con that I have for this. Radio. Okay, so now that I got through all of the, all of the, mostly all of the bad about this radio, what do I have that, what, what are the good things I have to say about it? Well, the first thing is obvious. I mean, look at this thing. It looks awesome. It's so much better than the super small screen that you get in these Mustangs. Now, I, did, I had, like I mentioned, I had the base model screen and that, I mean, I would have this screen with issues over that one any day of the week. Um, I, this just has way more features. It looks really, really clean. And it's just, it's just a massive upgrade no matter what. Um, now, if I had the Sync 3 system, I think that's the newer one that comes in the 2017s and up. I don't know if I would necessarily do this modification because the Sync 3 comes with CarPlay and I think it comes with like a hotspot in it too. But from a base screen, it feels, this is awesome. Like this transforms the car uh, completely with a ton of features and everything. So that's definitely a pro for me. Like it's just the look, it just the look itself. It just looks so much better. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel cheap in any way. Uh, the second pro that I like to that I like about this is I don't know if you can see it, but this is all glass. This is a a glass screen, and um, it doesn't feel cheap. Now some of the buttons are like a little bit plasticky, but it doesn't feel cheap at all. Some of the infotainment systems have like that plastic film that goes over the the touch screen glass. I believe my Corvette has that, where the vet has it feels like plastic. And then it's like a touchscreen underneath it. No, not in here. This is a full glass panel. It feels like a phone screen. Very quick, very fast. And this is a 10, I believe this is a 1080p display. And it looks great in person. Uh, I can't stress that enough. It looks phenomenal. Um, so that's a, another huge plus for me. Uh, this screen looks amazing.
Oh, it feels amazing too. Okay, so the third pro is that this has navigation. Uh, as you saw in the previous slide or the cons, I have Google Maps and that's awesome. Uh, I prefer Google Maps over Apple Maps these days. And it's, it's amazing, I love it. Um, I'm gonna explain to you what, what my setup is in a minute, but built-in navigation is, is amazing. And um, while I'm on the topic of uh, the navigation screen, you can actually, because it's an Android, you can actually split screen the navigation. So I believe if I go here, yeah, so you can have the navigation up top. And then what I like to do is I like to have YouTube on the bottom. Uh, I'm not connected to the internet right now. I'm in my garage. Um, but as you can see, when I'm on the road, this is awesome, especially for road trips or anything like that. I've got Hulu downloaded. I've got... Um, let me see, can I get back to here? Let me see. Uh, hit this. Yeah, look all the apps I've got downloaded on here. I've got HBO Max, the Google Play Store, the CW. You know, I've got speed test in here. Um, this is awesome. It feels like a tablet and it's, it's great. It's responsive. You know, I've got no complaints about this system. Um, let me show you. And also, uh, the next pro would be that um, this Android is, is is just an Android tablet. Like, it's, it's amazing. You can go to Google Play Store and download whatever you want. It does split screen. It has everything that you would want on it. Um, let me disconnect this. And while I'm on the topic of the App Store, let me cut out of here really quick. Where's my navigation? Oh. Okay, so as you can see here, so if you look here, the Wi-Fi is off because my hotspot is on to connect to my phone for wireless CarPlay. So all I do is I come here and I turn the Wi-Fi on. And then what I have personally is I have a mobile hotspot. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let me grab it. I have a... Um, I went to Cricket. I have Cricket for my follower, um, my um, my service. I went to Cricket and I picked this up, a little mobile hotspot, and uh, I have Wi-Fi in the car 24/7. So the way that I I have this tablet working is I pay like 40 or 50 bucks a month for the hotspot, and when I get in the car, the hotspot turns on when I get in the car. It doesn't it's not on when I'm not in the car. And then the tab this tablet automatically connects to that. And then boom, I've got all the internet I need. I don't even use wireless CarPlay. I just have this phone set up Bluetooth to the Android unit. And then I play my music and I get my phone calls through there. And then when I need navigation, I do all of that through the radio. I don't even bother with the CarPlay. CarPlay is nice. It's really cool. If you let someone borrow your car or something like that. But for me, this is the setup that I, that I use. All I wanted CarPlay for was the, was, the, was the Google Maps, but hey, this works just as well. Um, so yeah, the, the hotspot is very quick and the screen is very crisp and the display is really nice. Uh, so yeah, that's another huge con is that it's an Android tablet. Navigation is very good, very crisp, split screen. And yeah, I think that's like four or five pros or whatever. But yeah, uh, let me see. Let me double check my list and make sure I'm not missing any features for you guys because I want to make sure I'm very thorough with this. Um, also, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment it in the down below or whatever. Comment it and I'll try my best to reply with any questions that you've got. Um, there are no videos of this unit on YouTube and I want to do my best for the community, especially for my, my Mustang family that has that pathetic screen. If you guys are looking to upgrade, I've got, I'll try my best to help you out and you know, let you know what I did or what kind of setup kind of setup that I'm using. So yeah, go ahead and leave me any comments or any questions, but let me go to the next slide. Uh, let me double check my notes and I'll be right back. Okay, so the last, if you guys have a base model Mustang, uh, what, what's this thing doing? Let me see. Okay, if you guys have a base model Mustang like me, I bought a, this is a V6 Mustang. So it came with like no features in it. Um, this, this car came with no features. So this car, when you when I got the Android tablet, this is, the, I believe, this actually added automatic climate control. And at first I thought it was like a useless button or a useless feature that wouldn't actually work with the car. 
but I'll be damned, it works. It works well. Um, one of the things I've noticed with this car is that this car gets hot, like, real quick, like, with the heat. Um, so the automatic climate control is great. That's a random feature. No one has ever covered it. Why does it keep going away? No one has ever covered it, but, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I use it all the time. I have it preset to, like, 73 right now, but I like to keep it at, like, 78. And then you can control everything through here. It's very good, crisp, concise, you know, no problems with it. So as I wrap this video up, um, I'm going to finish this off with what I think of this unit. Would I recommend it? You know, who is this unit for? You know, and my thoughts is that if you plan to road trip your car, if having, you know, top quality features like built-in navigation if you care about how the car looks if you want if you want the car to feel more premium you know if you want some of those applications in your car or maybe you have kids and you're waiting to pick them up from practice or something like that or if you spend a lot of downtime in your car you know this is a great unit you know i haven't had any issues with it myself outside of the low volume issue which i'll probably end up making another video on that um i haven't had any issues now if you're not tech savvy, this, this is, the, that's the thing too. I work in IT, you know, I know my way around like some, some Android, you know, and I, I know how to make things work, but if you're not tech savvy and you don't really know what you're doing, or you don't have a professional that can help you set this up, maybe this screen isn't for you. Maybe I would lean towards getting the OEM sync three upgrade over this something that's custom. Um, because the Sync 3 upgrade will be plug and play. You don't have to worry about anything. But this tablet can come with uh, a little bit of a headache, depending on if, if you get a, a faulty model. You know, there's a lack of support, you know. So I would say pick and choose your battles. But if you know what you're doing, you know, if you know how to load up, this, this unit comes with 100 gigabytes of, like, storage. You can load videos on here, music, movies, you know. You can view the backup camera whenever you want. That's another plus. As you can see here, the back of cameras is on. I'm, not, I'm in park. The car's not even on. You know, if you're into that sort of stuff, you know, this is a great unit. But if you're just trying to, you know, get an OEM upgrade, I would just say go with the Sync 3 system. It's so much better. Um, it's plug and play. No issues. I can guarantee you that. Um, but if you're looking for a little bit of a custom look, a bigger screen, I mean... <laughs> navigation on this thing is just amazing but yeah you know that that's what i think this product is really made for but do be careful and buy this from a reputable site i got mine from amazon um so i can send it back whenever i need to um you know so yeah maybe maybe there's someone selling it third party on facebook but but yeah that's pretty much it for this one um i think i've hit all the points that i wanted to for you guys for anyone that's trying to buy this unit because there's no videos on it so any questions, like I mentioned, please leave them down in the comment section below. Um, I also leave my Instagram in the comment section as well, or in the description box, whatever the hell they call it these days. I always leave my stuff there. Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or YouTube. I'm always on my phone. I'm always posting up updates on both this car and the Corvette. If you, for some reason, like my channel, feel free to subscribe. I've got a bunch of mods coming for the Mustang. This screen is not where it stops. I'm going to be getting the digital gauge cluster I'm going to be getting the LCD passenger display. Um, I'm getting an exhaust installed in here. And the car is getting wrapped in like a month. So, yeah, follow the channel if you want. Or if you're just here for the for this informational video on here, that's cool too. You know, whatever. Uh, but with that being said, guys, be safe, be chill, and uh, stay positive. Go ahead and be a love positive. I, I rehearse my songs every day. It's so repetitive. I don't battle rap, but I ain't gon' lie. I am competitive. I am the competition. I follow my intuition. Back then, all I did was wishing. That time is really ticking. I saw that sack. You know a nigga got to run it. I, I, I am the king, and your bitch king.